All right, so this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well Pisces Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading March 23rd to uh, March 29th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. So that being said, moving to the spread straight away now, the first one, uh, the first card which stands for the topic of your week, that is going to be the Two of Swords. Moving next, we do have the energies that are, that it is feeding up the topic here, we do have the Page of Wands. Followed by the third one which represents the challenges that you have to stand against here, that is to be the Eight of Swords. Followed by the next one which stands for the um, Gifts and the Blessings that uh, you get to enjoy throughout the week, that is to be the Page of Cups. Afterwards, we do have the impression that you are going to leave into the people around. That will be the Four of Cups. And the last one, it is the guidance that Tara is offering, and that will be the Tree of Pentacles. And it's a quite co colorful, colorful, colorful one. Okay. So, uh, where do I start from? Mm. Well, pretty much all, every single card here is quite significant. Oh, yo, yo, mm, Okay. So, uh, first couple of cards. We do have the energies and uh, we do have the Two of Swords, which is the, um, the situation. So what the energies are pointing here, it is that you are going to become increasingly, increasingly, excuse me, increasingly, um, it's, is the word hectic? It's like looking forward for, um, for something new to happen. And those energies are going to make you say open for everything new that it is to come around not to mention that if you are expecting a good news to come around those energies are going to bring you the good news around and also increasingly throughout the week you are going to become more and more confident in your own personal capabilities in terms of love and in terms of career as well um, however the situation itself is going to be a bit complicated to say the least because um, there is a, a quite of a, of a lot that it is hanging on, um, on, on the balance here. And you cannot lightly take one or the other direction. So in other words, yes, you are going to be open for a new things to happen, for to take a new enterprise, a new endeavors. Simultaneously, however, you would not want to jeopardize the um, this achieved um, uh, results either career wise or relationship wise by taking that new enterprise that new endeavor and in generally anything new that comes around because this is what the page of wands is really about it's anything new that comes around that and the energies are going to bring you anything new around it could be literally anything right so uh two of swords here points though that uh, you are going to spend a week in peace trying to find the best way how to capitalize on these new enterprises they could be more than just one okay or how to act on this um positive news that it is to come around to you and how to capitalize on the increasingly um on the increased self-confidence and awareness that you are way stronger than you th than you thought you are because the page of wands has that threat as well that it makes you stronger than before and you are going to start not just only analyzing but also you know trying to figure out how to make use of it you know where to place your additional efforts or kind of like your additional skills or knowledge that you have just find out that you do have or leverage i would say where to place your additional leverage that you have just identified that you had. Now with the two of uh, swords, it's very common that um, the longer you wait, the more obvious the right decision becomes. So at the start, it will that will be probably for the majority of you guys, Pisces, that at the start, uh, 
the right decision is going to be anybody's guess. I mean, uh, you you decide to do this thing, it's going to be uh, equally good or equally bad as with that thing. But the more you wait, this thing is going to become more appealing than that thing. And when you are 100% sure that one of the things it's much, much better than the other, you should not make your decision. Because the two of swords here says that once again, while um, you, you are going to have many things that are new that comes to your way, things are in generally into your situation are going to hang on a balance and you do not want to jeopardize that balance. And if I have to give you an example here, say we're talking about a business, okay, and uh, you are having pretty much your time is full and you do have a new things that come into your way that are really kind of appealing and exciting for you to take on. But knowing that if you do take on those things, you are going to jeopardize the current orders or the current, um, how can I say, the current contracts that you do have. Also, if you wait long enough, those new things are likely to become more appealing than some of your contracts and therefore you can replace those contracts that you are not finding as appealing as the new things with the new things or with the new contracts with the new orders okay but at the start of uh, at the appearance of those new enterprises you would not know where to place them and how to place them into your uh, into your environment that could be as well uh, new relationships it could be for example that you are going to have a couple of people to date with okay and you would not want you would not know which one is better than the other and instead of making your decision straight away um, if you wait long enough you will see that one of the two is more persistent than the other it can offer you more than the other and that makes the obvious decision for you the the, the right decision obvious obvious for you uh, that leads us to the next one here, which is uh, the uh, challenges that you need to overcome, okay? And uh, that is about uh, being biased, okay? So you are going to have more than one thing which is new for you and you have to decide which one to take. And for one or another reason, you are to be biased in regards to which one of those things to incorporate into your environment. For example, uh, if that's the two people for you to date with, you are going to linger more to one or the other for no particular reason, however. Okay? It is just, it will be, say, intuition wise. Okay? And uh, you are to be ignorant for a certain let's say signs or let's say truths as well so the uh, eight of swords here points to you pisces in general that if you um are blind for the truth then you are to be to be enslaved by the dece by the deceit and uh, therefore you know you have to acknowledge the true how can i say it you know the true signs of that what the situation gives you here and that is going to be exactly the challenge to open your eyes for the reality of the situation itself and if i have to give you an example you could be biased for one of the person than the other because uh, say that he or she is more handsome than the other but they make you feel way worse than the other person and therefore you are ignorant for the fact that they are making you feel way worse because they are handsome okay but the other person could offer you much better stability much better um say um you know uh, stable future and etc etc but no you are ignorant because you know they are more handsome than that so you have to be more objective with this card about what kind of a potential you know one of those or few of those new things out of many that are given to you have and take the appropriate actions toward once again before you decide what to do you have to consider excuse me all points of view <clears throat> it's a bit tough to explain it but uh what i can take from those cards here guys it is that you have to be very careful what you decide in favor of because to me looking at those two of swords and eight of swords here um at the start those opportunities some of them are to be sugar coated and you are to be in danger of taking those sugar coated opportunity in favor of the real opportunities and therefore shooting yourself in the foot or in the foot
yeah in the foot so uh you have to be very careful and once again try to store as much as you can so you are a hundred percent sure that what is presented to you it's real and it is not fake just to kind of like appeal you more toward uh toward the situation and afterwards to make you regret that you actually involved yourself into the situation itself uh, that moves us to the next one here, which uh, represents the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. And we do have a person who is definitely emotionally connected with you. And they really looking forward for a mutual future. Now, that should be someone that uh, probably you already know. And uh, under emotionally connected, I'm not just only talking about romantically, although it could be a romantically emotionally connected. And if it is romantically emotionally connected, I will straight away give you an example how that reading is going to play out. Okay. So uh, the page of ones here points that someone new is going to appear. And uh, while you are kind of like reconnoitering the soil with this person here who is emotionally connected with you this new one appears and being a sugar coated okay and so you start doubting yourself how committed you are to this page of cups you know and you are standing in front of a decision to make should you stick with what you know to be true exactly what we said here okay or should you try your chances with something that you don't know how is going to develop well Stow as much as you can. See if the new thing it is exactly what it is presented to you. Uh, because people who doesn't have true intentions, if you don't give them what they want straight away, they are quickly they are going to quickly lose interest, you know, and they are gonna show their true faces. And that will be the um, not the challenge but the test that you are to implement into your performance but uh, nonetheless as a gifts and blessings here you do have a person who is emotionally connected with you looking forward for a accumulative future and above everything else is ready to change things within them so they can be more uh, pleasant to you in a sense of that to fulfill more of your expectations one way or another uh, that card as well may may kind of send may kind of say that it is is gonna bless you with a child okay but that is by a long shot uh here by a long shot saying it is because tarot is not meant to um predict health and pregnancy and giving a birth it kind of relates to a medical status okay but in a practical level it could be interpreted that you can be blessed with a, a child it may not be through pregnancy you know it could be through adoption as well you may start thinking of adopting a, a child and etc etc so uh, uh that leads us to the next one which is uh, what kind of impression you are leaving into the people around and that will be the four of cups and people seeing you as a, a person who definitely needs something to happen okay something to change into their life and uh, how can i describe it people were seeing you as a, a person who is uh, comfortable where they're sitting at right now but that they definitely cannot stay there for uh, for forever because uh, people were seeing you as a, a person who is kind of like consuming the last the very last remnants of whatever products or whatever uh, benefits you had from previous actions and now it's time for you to think for a uh, new heights for you to conquer which does not mean that they have to be regarding a new opportunities all right because uh, if it is about the page of cups for example like that if you decide to stick with what you know to be true here that means that you have to bring the things into the next level okay that you need to bring the things to the next level. This is how people see you, how people are taking on you. Or if you decide to go with the new one, for example, well, then people are, are gonna be quite happy for you, but are you going to be happy? That's uh, that's the point. So uh, long story short here, Pisces, people were seeing you as a person who is uh, very emotionally, how can I say it, uh, in emotional, stability to a, such a point that it has no um <clears throat> no ability to enjoy themselves with something new or uh, in generally with whatever surprise comes into their way it is because for them it's 
sound and sound insecure in general oh my god it's very difficult to um to translate it here it's a tough reading um okay so i will say it that way people were seeing you unwilling to move from where you are and that's for a certain period of time is a good thing because like i said you have to stall uh, as much as you can your decision here but at the end of the day you definitely have to move out of your comfort zone and uh, the final one that we do have it is the guidance that Tara is offering to you Pisces and that relates to how to kind of like reveal what you have in front of you as an opportunity is is a is true thing or it's something that appears to be a fallacy first of all criticism okay the true that whatever is true for you it's going to withstand whatever criticism you are to um kind of like address them with okay so say that that is a new suitor you don't like something in them and you say that you know i don't like for example that you are smoking in uh, in my car say that and uh if they truly want to be with you they are going to uh apply to it i mean that they they will stop smoking at your car uh, or if they don't care well they will simply say well deal with it you know i mean i am a smoker just deal with it so that points that they completely don't care and they are uh, unwilling to cooperate with you in order to reach a, a common ground another thing deep conversations if you don't have a, a common um common topics to talk about well pretty much you can't um offer to each other a support through a further development and above everything else here it is the support itself if that person does not stand by you whenever you need them then they are definitely not for you guys okay so these are the traits or the signs that you are going to um, kind of identify which one is for you and which isn't and again that is the guidance Feel free to stick to your personal priorities, okay, and uh, preferences. But in generally, uh, it does look like Pisces that throughout this week you are going to have something like a uh, tough decision to make which one to go forward with, either career wise, either relationship wise, or maybe friendship wise as well. And hopefully, at the end of the day, you do take the correct choice or you do make the correct choice. And uh, that being said, um, this was your general tarot reading hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such and depending on the service you purchase uh, i'm going to contact you within 24 hours uh, giving you a uh, details how your reading is going to take place uh, stay safe now and hopefully we're going to see each other around until then bye